Hi YouTube, um, Nick's here. Today is December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve. Also Neighbor Dave's birthday. Happy birthday. Um, I just put Miles down for a nap and we are getting a blizzard today. Um, so I need to go out and deal with the chickens a little bit. Um, I know they're low on food and probably water but also um, it's gonna get below zero tonight so I am going to turn on their heat lamp and just give them a little bit of extra bedding and um, just check in and see how they're doing um, before the cold hits um, we've had some questions about from other people about how to take care of the chickens in Wisconsin in the winter a lot of people that um, follow the chicken pages and stuff are from down south so they don't have to deal with the cold um, so I just figured I would make a short video. So we live in Prescott, Wisconsin. Um, we moved here about three years ago, bought our house, and we actually got chickens right away. Um, and we were really excited, but we really didn't know much about them or and we were kind of just amateurs. Anyways, we did our best, but um, a fox actually came in, we believe from like the river bluff. Um, and got our whole first flock, um, which was really hard on the kids um, and more Aaron. But we learned a lot. We changed our coop. We figured out a lot of things and did a lot more research. Um, and we have um, a whole new flock of girls. And um, I just thought I'd give you guys some pointers. So this is my garden and our coop at the same time. Um, the girls are all gonna come out. They haven't been out all day because it's been pouring rain um, And right now the blizzard is literally just starting as I'm speaking um, So the outside structure is actually just my garden and then on the inside um, is the girl. We do have um, our compost right here um, but just a warning, if you're gonna have chickens, they tear apart your compost. I mean, literally, they tear it apart. Um, however, we do still um, use it, and that is what we use then for our garden beds um, in the spring. So it works out super awesome. Chicken poop is literally the best thing that you can use in your garden. Um, I'm gonna let the girls out, they're gonna be really excited to come out. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. So Red is a Rhode Island Red. She is the queen of our flock. She's always the first one out, and she she always seems to watch the other girls. Um, we did um, have an incident where a fox did get a hold of her chickens again. Um, and Amy actually got a, a broken wing from it. It basically ripped her wing in half. Um, I just wanted to bring it up because I did go on a, a chicken group on, on Facebook and kind of asked like, what should I do, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people said, oh, call her. Just, just get rid of her, keep her out of your flock. Well, I didn't listen. So, um, I bandaged her up and I put, you know, I, um, ointment on and I took care of her and um, she's totally fine. She can't fly. Um, she's actually the darker one. Um, Amy after Amy Winehouse. She, she can't fly but she's the happiest bird ever. She also won't lay however though. So if you do have an accident with one of your chickens they may never lay again. I don't know if she's gonna ever lay. She never has. Um, I assume it's just because she has anxiety over it. Um, we also have Lemon, the white one, <laughs> and then uh, Marley, uh, she's the other white, not wherever she is, the black one. I'm going to show you our coop real quick, it's, it's honestly, it's nothing fancy. Um, we bought it at, I think, Fleet Farm. We put it together, it was like 200, 300 bucks. Um, it's lasted us three years. We know it's, it's going to need to be replaced soon, totally fine. Um, we will probably build our own next time is I think we're smarter um, one thing to point out about these pre-made coops is this drawer thing that they say is for the poop falls in does not work do not waste your time um, we basically just you 
use um, bedding and the girls have their little roost bar and then they have their main bar that they actually like to sleep on um, I don't have curtains in there for their nesting boxes right now um, that's because of Amy she because after the accident she won't sleep um, up on the roost even though she can get up there she just won't so I feel like she wants to be close to the other girls so I keep no curtains I'm sorry um, we use a typical water and food um, layer pellet and um, we get an egg a day from the three that lay um, the water we have the water heater on right now because it is winter I'm going to turn on the heat lamp really quick for them about not using heat lamps because they they can burn down we understand all that I'll show you how we prevent that from happening here real quick our heat lamp oh it's getting really cold our heat lamp is hooked up on a nail so if it were to fall the nail will catch it it won't burn us down um, that's about it. I just wanted to give you guys a little, um, a few comments about having chickens in the winter. It's about to get really cold out here, so they'll probably go in soon and stay in for the, the storm and weather it out. Um, thanks for watching you guys.